10 Widely Believed Myths About Ancient Greece We all know that ancient Greece is a land of culture, as well as mythology. In fact, ancient Greece is considered the birthplace of Western culture. Let me tell you that it has brought forth massive advancements in philosophy, science, as well as art. Also, it has a rich tapestry of myth as part of its narrative. If you want to understand the mystery of Greece, you should appreciate the beauty of its legends. Hi guys, welcome back to my astonishing top 10. In today's video, I will tell you 10 widely believed myths about ancient Greece. However, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you never miss any new updates. Now, without further ado, let's get into this. Number 10. Greeks weren't that democratic. The Athenian ruler, Cleisthenes, introduced a new system of rule by the people in 507 BC, often regarded as the birth of democracy. This system had three separate institutions. One wrote the laws, the second heard the representatives of different tribes, and the third formed the judicial system for Greek citizens. Greek citizens' equality was praised before the law. However, citizenship was conferred only on those whose parents had also been citizens. So 10,000 foreigners and 150,000 slaves who lived in Athens were excluded. Among the 100,000 confirmed citizens, only males over the age of 18 were eligible to participate in the new democracy. Although membership of the bull was supposed to be decided by drawing lots, historians have discovered corruption in practice. Even the judiciary system was abused. There were no restrictions on the sort of cases that the court could hear, and petty disputes were brought to the court. Number 9. There was no Trojan horse. The Trojan War was supposed to have taken place during the Bronze Age. Thousands of Greek warriors marched on Troy to rescue the captured Helen of Sparta. The Trojan War was said to be started so that Zeus could reduce the human population, and the king of Sparta could rescue his wife who had been abducted by Paris, the Trojan prince. The siege of Troy was said to have lasted 10 years, and it finally ended when a huge wooden horse containing Spartan soldiers was left at the gates of Troy and was let in by a fool. This incident never happened. Since the rediscovery of Troy in modern-day Turkey in the 19th century, archaeologists found several pieces of evidence indicating that Troy was already destroyed by the time the war was supposed to have occurred. However, there is evidence that some kind of war may have happened at Troy. But whatever did happen, it is unlikely to have involved any wooden horses. Number 8. Pandora didn't open the box Pandora was the first woman on Earth according to Greek mythology. She was bestowed several gifts including the gift of beauty, music, and clothes. Pandora was given a box by Zeus and told her never to open it. Pandora ended up opening the box, which turned out to contain all the evils of the world. However, it's a myth, as Pandora never had a box. Instead, she had a jar. That jar was the size of a small person, and such jars were sometimes used in place of a coffin. It is believed that the error comes from a mistranslation by the 16th century writer Erasmus who mixed up the jar with a box. Number 7. Spartans were not indomitable warriors Although Sparta was a powerful warrior nation for a brief time, the popular perception of Spartans as indomitable warriors is inaccurate. The Spartans had no interest in the traditional ancient Greek pursuits of poetry and philosophy. They preferred to institute a military system for training their males by separating them from their families from the age of seven and drilling them in warfare. The boys were kept in severe conditions and were fed just to survive. They were constantly drilled until the age of 20, when they became full-time soldiers. Bravery in battle was expected of all soldiers, and they were told to either return victorious or dead. The Spartans were especially skilled at fighting in military formation, but they suffered a humiliating defeat at the Battle of Leuctra in 371 BC. Their land was invaded in the following year, marking the beginning of the end of the Spartan nation. Number 6. Hades was not evil Hades is often depicted as an evil god who is banished to the underworld. 
parts of the underworld were considered a punishment place for sinners. It also included fields for heroes and meadows where the majority of souls ended up. Hades was the ruler of the invisible world, and his kingdom included all the secret places of the world. He was the brother of Poseidon and Zeus. Hades stayed mostly in his underworld kingdom and rarely bothered those living elsewhere, except when he abducted Persephone after falling in love with her. He created a beautiful flower that sucked her down to the underworld when picked. Zeus negotiated her release, but because of some injudicious pomegranate eating, she was doomed to spend the winter of every year in the underworld with Hades. Apart from all this, Hades was a good guy. Number 5. Hercules and the Second of His Twelve Labors Hercules, the son of Zeus and Alcmene, became a legendary hero by his twelve labors. He intended to become the ruler of Greece, but Zeus's jealous wife, Hera, created a lot of trouble for him. She made him lose his mind. Hercules killed his wife and children in a confused and angry state. Hercules was told to serve King Aristeus for twelve years in punishment for the murders to gain guidance. As a part of his sentence, Hercules was made to perform twelve labors. For the second of his twelve labors, he had to kill the Hydra, a monstrous and venomous serpent with nine heads. Hydra emerged from its den after being shot with flaming arrows and coiled itself around Hercules' foot. Hercules attacked the heads of the Hydra, but as soon as he cut off one head, two more would emerge. Hercules then chopped off each of the Hydra's eight mortal heads and held a torch to the headless neck to prevent the heads from growing. The ninth immortal head was chopped off and buried by the side of the road, with a heavy rock placed over it. Number 4. All Ancient Greeks Weren't Pederasts In ancient Greece, it was customary for an adult male to take a young Greek boy as an eromenos. Formal education did not exist, so for a young Greek boy to progress in society, it was necessary to have a mentor. Adult men in Greece took citizenship seriously and would enlighten their eromenos in all ways. Sexuality in antiquated Greece was not considered as a sign of some connections. However, it's just considered as a need. This practice of sexual relationships between men was not considered dignified and was assessed to assume civic responsibilities. If the elderly man refrains himself from fulfilling his desires of having sex with an eromenos, it was viewed as a sign of regard for the boy's status and a sign of powerful self-control in the adult. However, in case the adult lacked self-control, the Eromenos was expected to comply with any requests out of gratitude and respect. Number 3. Muslim Army Did Not Destroy the Library at Alexandria The library at Alexandria was considered one of the wonders of the ancient world. It contained books from ancient civilizations and was the main hub for scholars from all over the world. It contained all the knowledge of the world and was filled with scribes. Many rumors exist regarding the cause of its destruction, including that it was destroyed by an invading Muslim army. However, it is far from being destroyed by a single event. Julius Caesar, during a civil war in 48 BC, was trapped in Alexandria and set fire to his and his enemy's ships, burning them and large parts of the town. Some scholars suggest that part of the library was also destroyed at that time. In 391 AD, the Roman Emperor Theodosius declared paganism illegal and burned down any temple which did not worship Christ, which includes Serapium as well, where the library was held. However, by the time the Muslim army invaded in 641 AD, the library had been destroyed. So the tales of them destroying it are largely fabricated. It was known that large collections of books from the library had been traded all over Europe for hundreds of years before the Muslim army arrived. Number 2. The Amazons Greek legends tell about the Amazons as the most incredible and powerful women that ever existed. The Amazons were said to be a clan of autonomous strong females who set themselves up against the male-dominated society. They lived in isolation and opposed men in whatever they did. They are seen as the world's very first feminist activists. Little is known about Amazons. Most people believe that they aimed to represent oppressed women everywhere. Interestingly, the Amazons crop up in the myths of many different civilizations. Whatever the truth, these legends were fascinating. 
Number 1. Prometheus and the Return of Fire The first titans thrown out of Zeus were Prometheus and Olympias, but he was miraculously only one of the handful to avoid imprisonment in Tartarus. Prometheus clashed with Zeus continually. After fire was taken away from humans by Zeus, Prometheus stole it back and returned it to mankind. As a punishment, the gods tied him to a stone in the Caucasus Mountains forever, while a hawk would travel to the rock and eat his liver. Since he was immortal, his liver perpetually renewed itself, repeating the cycle the following day. Eventually, Hercules released Prometheus from his torment. Final thoughts. That's all for today's video, and thanks for watching it. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to share your thoughts and valuable feedback with us in the comment section below. Lastly, if you have not already subscribed to this channel, subscribe to it, and press that bell icon so that you will be notified each time we upload an interesting video on this channel. And while you are here, click to watch one of these two videos that are appearing on your screen. We will see you there. Take care and stay tuned.